All right, so in this first video here, um, we're going to talk about uh, what's a series, what's a sequence, what is arithmetic, what is geometric, what is recursive, what is explicit, kind of set the stage for what's coming in the problems. Um, so here's a copy of the formula sheet that I uh, handed out in class, or you could have printed that out. And the first thing let's talk about is the difference between a series and a sequence. So you'll notice at the top of your formula sheet it says sequence and then towards the bottom it says series. Sequencing or sequences are section 8.1, series are section 8.2. So you're going to use this formula sheet for both. Um, a sequence is a list of terms, like numbers. And a series is a sum. Okay, so you could give a more uh, complete definition. Um, arithmetic, arithmetic. So this is when our, our terms differ by a constant, such as 1, 2, 3, four, so on and so forth. These differ by adding one each time. Uh, geometric. A geometric uh, sequence differs by a common ratio, such as one, two, four, eight, and so on. And I get those by multiplying by two each time. Okay, so that's the difference between those two. Uh, recursive and explicit. Well, before we talk about that, let's kind of talk a little bit about um, what's a sequence, what are terms, what is this end stuff all about, what's the domain, what's natural numbers got to do with it, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's start with an example. So here's a very basic sequence to and let's add three each time. So five, eight, eleven, and fourteen, and we could go on and on. Okay, so these are my terms, and in addition, each term has a position. So in position one, I can think of that as my first term. Okay, so that's my a sub 1. A is the term number. This is my second term, so this is going to be A sub 2. My third term would be A sub 3, so on and so forth. Well, notice these 1's and 2's and 3. That's like the position number. So that's like the n number. So if I made myself a little xy table, you're all familiar with xy tables. Okay, so the x is like the position number. Position 1, position 2, position 3, position 4. The y is the actual term. So in this case, you know, I've called them a, a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3. But it's the actual term. So in this case, in position 1 is 2, because 2 is my first term. In position 2 is 5. In position 8, is 3, in position 4 is 11. Okay, So when I talk about the domain of a sequence, it always starts with 1 because your first number, your a sub 1, your first term, is your first term. There's not a zero position, it's a first position. So the domain is going to be natural numbers and you looked up this definition in the book. So natural numbers is like people think of whole numbers, but it's not zero, so it doesn't include zero. So it includes, let's see, natural numbers includes one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that kind of describes uh, a sequence, and it kind of describes the domain, and what n is, n is the position, um, and now let's talk about the difference between explicit and recursive a minute. So let's kind of erase all this stuff here a minute. 
Okay. All right. So remember, this is my n equals one, my first term. This is my n equals two, my second term. n equals three, my third term. n equals four, so on and so forth. So an explicit formula, explicit, means I can calculate, let's just say, the hundredth term. I can calculate the hundredth term with a formula. I don't have it right now. I'll do that in another video, but just telling you what an explicit one is. Uh, recursive means if I wanted to calculate the hundredth term, I have to know the term before. So I have to know the 99th term. And guess what? To know the 99th term, I would have to know the 98th term. And to know the 98th term, I would have to know the 97th. So in other words, a recursive formula means you have to know previous terms. Must know previous terms. Now, in another course, not this course, but in another course, you will learn to turn um, recursive formulas into explicit. And we're not going to do that in, in this course. All right, so that sets the stage for what's coming. That's our definitions, and I'll do some examples in the next videos.